so these are the flax seeds that Mary's Heirloom Seeds sent to me so that I could see how well they worked with textiles. I have been working with bamboo. Let's see, which one is the bamboo? This one is the raw silk and the bamboo. This one is the mohair, the raw silk, and the bamboo. And then this one is the angora. So if you saw our angora rabbit, this is his fiber mixed with bamboo and I believe silk. And this one, I haven't finished yet. This one is a, what is it called again? Navajo ply. And this one is just the bamboo. But the reason I'm doing all these silky um, summer uh, spinning projects is because I'm trying really hard to work up to the linen. I, with linen you do weaving and you need flax. So I already bought some flax uh, but I don't know if it's specific to textiles. This is supposed to be specific to textiles I believe. That's what we're going on. Uh, Mary actually sourced me some seeds to try uh, and that's our, both of our understanding is that what this is. So she special ordered this for me and actually packaged it and has it in her store now just for me. So if you're also interested in playing with linen and growing your own summer wear um, because you're crafty like me, this is probably a good place to start. And I'm really excited to start. So it looks like you need to start it outside instead of inside. And then the one thing you need to know about flax is that you need to pull it. You don't cut it, you pull it. Something about um, that makes your linen superior. So you pull it up by the roots and then there is a long process, in, in, uh, it's called retting, R-E-T-T-I-N-G, in which you soak it and you let some of the fibers rot and then what's left is what you process. So it's a very homesteady type of a thing to do and it's very straightforward. I know that I can grow it here and I might have been able to grow it in Idaho. At least I could have grown it in the greenhouse. So I'm excited to try this. So make sure to go check out Mary's Heirloom Seeds. They are an affiliate of ours so it helps support our channel and she has just great seeds to begin with. So I really appreciate her for finding these for me. And what do you think of these? I have never played with bamboo before, so what I like about it is that it is shiny. It does not have a lot of give and take though. It's not spongy like wool would be. It's very soft, but it's very shiny, and it's meant for summer wear rather than winter wear, which I think is kind of fun. And this is the wheel that has become my favorite wheel because I love to fine spin. I hate making big chunky yarn. I prefer something that is really, really fine. So, kind of excited about that. Make sure to check out the link if the link will show up. I've never tried to put a link in this kind of post before, so we'll see if I can get a link to Mary's store. Talk to you later, guys. Oh, by the way, the reason I do this is because I'm losing my mind. Uh, still no word on the homestead. Talk to you later. Bye.